Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the Hummer EV. Guys, this thing is bold. Up to 1,000 horsepower available, 11,500 foot-pounds of torque, zero to 60 in about three seconds. In an absolute beast of a vehicle. I mean, just check it out. Huge, bold, it just screams for attention on the road. Kind of that, <clears throat> still has that Hummer look to it definitely has the GM style stylistic in the tail lights we've got some nice running boards on the bottom it just wants attention it does have again in my opinion that GM stylistic to it Hummer grill very cool very bold just a beast so right now we parked it in crab walk mode, which we're gonna show in a minute. You can see both tires kind of pointing this way. We did have this vehicle off-road yesterday, a little dirty, but it was doing what it was meant to do. Have some fun. Well, let's hop inside and take a look. So inside the Hummer EV, very cool. Vinyl almost seats. Like the handle. It's just, everything is overdone, and I kind of like it. Huge infotainment centers here. This, this display is absolutely huge. So you can switch into different drive modes. I love the, the graphics are pretty cool. The screen is incredibly detailed, high quality. It looks like you're watching 6K TV. Very, very cool. You've got your different uh, locking differentials, traction control, park assist, and that sort of stuff, heated steering wheel. Um, you've got your other standard stuff you'd see, you know, connecting your phone, maps, audio, all that kind of stuff. Nice big screen really does a nice job displaying what you're trying to see down here we've got a your your shifter your mode where you can control what's going on, on the screen and your different modes you've got your cup holder obviously naturally and a nice center console passenger side uh not a whole lot going on there but nice detail and these do have the panels that do come out pulling the handles there you can take the t-tops out of the the hummer if you so desire back seat is not bad we do have more panels up top uh, the leg room, leg room is pretty good. I, I have no complaints. The headrests are a little lackluster. You could probably pull them up if you wanted to, but it's okay. Back seat is, it's a back seat, it's not bad. So the rear tailgate, you push this button here and open it that way. Do you have some nice storage back here? Not bad, you can lower the back seats from here. I will say if you were loading something, this is a high lift to get in here. You can lower the suspension into entry exit mode, which would be helpful, but it's quite a ways off the ground to get your cargo back into the uh, into the cargo area there. All right, so we're gonna show you crab walk mode. You hold this button for a few seconds. And now we are in crab walk mode. So if I turn the steer wheel all the way to the right, it's gonna be hard to tell, but you can see the wheels in the back and the wheels in the front. So when you're driving, the whole vehicle wants to just kinda, of, as a unit, go like, like sideways, like this or like this. So now we're gonna take this thing for a drive and see what it feels like on the road. Okay, so it's still in crab walk mode. Guys, check this out, ready? We're going down the road and you move the wheel, like the whole car just does this. It's so bizarre. So we've got crab mode turned off. We're gonna drive it like a normal, a normal vehicle. Let's see what this feels like on the road. Holy cow. You can see the nose of this lift up. Now, I will say, I feel like the vehicle drives as big as it looks, if that makes any sense. There's a lot of road noise, as you would expect from those tires. This is not a road trip vehicle by any means, in my opinion. Handled the tracks well, but it just, you can feel the vehicle is big. You can just feel you are moving a large mass down the road. Does it have an absolute ton of torque and a ton of power? And it literally will put your head back to the seat. Watch the nose of this. I don't know if the camera is gonna show it. You can just see the front end come up. It pulls you into the back of your seat, but the vehicle, it just wants to pull and it wants to go. 
but it kind of wants to go everywhere. This one does have Super Cruise. There's a little camera here you've got in the wheel. We're not going to fool that today, but I wanted to show you guys what it's like to drive this massive Hummer EV. It feels like it takes every inch of the lane. You look out this rear view mirror, you've got a fender flare over the line. You look out this one, you've got a fender flare over the line. It's not for the faint of heart. You're not just going to take this to the jewel and whip into your parking spot and grab your loaf of bread. Unless your jewel, of course, is somewhere in the middle of nowhere and this will likely get you there it's fun there is an absolute ton of power here and no lack of of torque it literally you can feel it in your stomach as you're driving it it's it's crazy but it doesn't like going through the turns and uh it does well off-road the biggest thing with the off-road is that um it's big so you got to have a place to take it that can hold the width of this vehicle. Cornering, well, let's find out right here. We've got a couple little corners combined with a speed bump. It handles it well, it's not bad. Um, but again, you feel it, you know you're driving a large vehicle. When you come off this bump, it kinda, it kinda just wanders a little, you know? But you got big tires and got a lot a lot of mass to move but it moves it holy cow well it's so it's so fast it's so fast the brakes work substantially well in comparison for the size of the vehicle so right now we're, we're not in crab walk mode you can see it handles like a like a normal vehicle would right but that crab walk mode is definitely cool i'm not sure what the reality of using it is maybe in a parallel parking situation it would might help um it's very unique it's different uh it's it, it's definitely something to experience even driving down this little road i feel like i need to move off to let room for traffic to pass we just feel we feel like we're wide so guys thanks for watching like and subscribe let us know what you think of the all-new hummer ev comment and we'll see you in the next video